Now you're going to want to find the throttle rod that comes with your kit and attach a ball link. Now there's not a specific ball link usually in the kit, but you can get these on our site, these little cap uh, and ball links. I like these a lot because they're very easy to install. You just will slide this into your throttle arm and lock it in with the nut on the opposite side using some Loctite. And then this will just pop onto the ball as so. Since the arm on our throttle is pretty short, it's about a half inch from end to end, we're going to use the first hole on our servo arm to equal that same range so we have a one to one ratio. Now we want to set up the throttle rod so that it's perfectly centered with our arm. I already tested the arm to make sure that it's in its approximate center position, but again we'll check that once the radio is hooked up and on. Uh, to figure out exactly where this rod should be in relation to the throttle arm, all we have to do is take this rod and push it forward and mark on the outside of this collar on one side, then pull it all the way closed and mark on the opposite side of the collar. If you push away this servo arm so you can see your marks here, the center of this rod where you should be mounting it on the, the collar here is going to be in the center of those two lines. Now all we're going to do is put a slight notch in this rod so that when we tighten down the screw, uh, it catches in that notch and doesn't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and mount the ignition now. And to do that, we actually sell a really nice ignition stand, the Miracle uh, Miracle RC ignition stand. I actually did not remember to pick one up uh, when I was at the warehouse and I'm, I'm building this in my workshop at home. So uh, I made a little stand here out of a, a piece of plywood and four little pieces of woods and then glued some Velcro straps to the bottom. I glued some foam to the top. So this is going to rest tightly on here and then I can just glue this using some epoxy um, preferably epoxy so it, it stays nice and strong. Uh, glue this wherever I want to the firebox, to the engine box. I chose to mount the ignition underneath the engine box and pretty much centered. Um, that will keep the weight all centered since we've got our stacks and everything uh, evenly distributed and it'll make it easy for both of these cables to reach either side. The throttle servo was here, so I did go a little bit offset. Uh, but this will also allow me to run all my wires inside the canister tunnel, making a really clean install when we go to install switches and everything else.